material speaking skills and how to design activities for speaking in the classroom uh, so the young as well. So speaking is an important language skill. So we must help students to improve their speaking in the classroom, how to uh, uh, simulate real life conversations. Yes, the next one. Uh, this is a worksheet. I want you I want to give it out to you. I want you to list some characteristics of successful speaking activity. What are some characteristics that you think are important for a successful speaking activity? So, some characteristics that you need. اللي بعد الفجر So, can we stop? Uh, do you have an answer to the question? Right. Clear instructions, uh, yes. specific topic for the students, yes. and the difficulty level for the task should match the class level. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Dan? Uh, teacher must be uh, very attentive. Very attentive, and yes. So, as I said, uh, learners talk a lot. In any speaking activity that the teacher will design, learners must have the opportunity to talk a lot. Not teacher talk a lot, but the learner. As much as possible of the period of time allotted to the activity should be occupied by learner talk. That's the student. This may seem obvious, but often most time is taken up with teacher talk or oral. The second characteristic of the teacher of the speaking activity is participation is even. We mean even that all students should have an equal opportunity to practice this speaking. For example, some talkative students might take a long time speaking while others do not have the opportunity. So participation is even. Classroom discussion is not dominated by a minority of talkative participants all get a chance to speak and contributions are fairly evenly distributed. Three, motivation is high. Learners are eager to speak because they are interested to contribute to achieving a task objective. So, we still have two other characteristics of the speaking activity. Any speaking activity should include a language of acceptable levels that, that can be understood by all students, not difficult for students to use during the classroom. The fifth one is provocative. It means that the activity or speaking activity should be provocative. How should it be provocative, do you think? Bassam. Yes. Uh, 
What does it mean? Provoking. Any speaking activity should be provoking. should be designed to provoke students to use any language knowledge at their command. So provocative means it encourages students to use any language they know. They do not fear to make mistakes. They just use anything they know. They speak anything. Do not be afraid of speaking or making mistakes. So I want you now to write down some reasons why a successful speaking activity should be provocative. Why should it be provocative? Just some reasons to be provocative. This worksheet, number two. Just some reason why. What should it be provocative? What are the benefits of being provocative? Here's some answers. Why should I provoke? Uh, to encourage weak and shy students to participate in the task and to improve their fluency rather than in speaking rather than uh, accuracy yes. and to practice the language. That's very good. Yes. Daniel? Provocative uh, means exciting. Exciting, yes. Yeah, so the exciting topic is They will not be interested, not be interested or motivated. Yes, thank you. So the, the first reason why it should be provocative. Yes. The first one, it's an opportunity to rehearse real life situations. So we want to design speaking activities that simulate real, real life situations. Getting the students to have a free discussion gives them the opportunity to rehearse for real life situations. Having them take part in a role play at an airport check in this conversation allows them to rehearse such a real event in the safety of the classroom. It's a way for students to get the feel of what communicating in a foreign language really feels. These are some characteristics. Another characteristic is it provides a kind of feedback to teacher and student. So if I give that uh, the, the student the opportunity to talk or speak, I can know his mistakes, can know his strengths, his weaknesses, what are his uh, strengths, what are his weaknesses, so I can uh, provide him feedback and correct his mistakes. The speaking tasks where students are trying to use all and any language they know provides feedback for both teacher and students. Teachers can see how well their class is doing and what language problems they are having. What language problems they are having. Speaking activities can give them enormous confidence and satisfaction and with sensitive teacher guidance can encourage them to further improve themselves. 
Do you think that this is true? Yes. How? Yes. Do you think this is true? Yeah. Because actually, if we provide a feedback from the teachers and students, when we have a speaking activity between the teachers and students. Yes. So it will provide feedback to teacher and students. Yes. speaking activity. Okay, my answer is if that we have to avoid a, a complex jargon. Yes. If, if, it, if, it, if yes. it is possible? Yes. We have to avoid complex uh, topics. We have to just to provide them with easy topics to talk about. Easy Which means we have to justify what are the level of the speech. Student first. Yes. The readiness of the for each topic and to relate to the real yes. life. Yes. This is true. We have to know what is their current level of language. How will they then? How will they know the language? Then provide the suitable topics for them to suit their ability. Yes. The provocative speaking activities are highly engaging. So. These activities are highly engaging to students. Good speaking activities can and should be highly motivating. If all students are participating fully, and if the teacher sets up the activity properly, and can then give sympathetic and useful feedback, students will get tremendous satisfaction from it. So the, the speaking activity has to be very engaging also. Many speaking tasks, role playing, discussion, problem solving, are intrinsically enjoyable in themselves. So these kinds of like, speaking activities, we can utilize them for, to engage uh, different students. And this is a worksheet also, uh, problems with the speaking activities. I want you just to identify some problems with speaking activities. This is part one. Just some problems with speaking activities. You as a teacher, when you want to design a speaking activity, what are some potential uh, problems, disadvantages of this activity? Might be difficult, might be easy, might be like this. You can look, have a look here at this slide. So, by this question, I mean what, what problems that students might have when we let them be engaged in, activity, in, in a speaking activity. For example, two, uh, two students are talking to each other or talking in front of the class. What problems they might have? No, 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 no. Yes, like this. No, 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 no. Yes, one answer is that they might be nervous. They might be inhibition. Inhibition means nervous. They are not willing to talk in front of their students uh, of their colleagues. Yes. Right? Some students they refuse to, to act the role of a girl. Like like boys, they don't like to act the character of Susie or Lila. Sometimes yes. they would like to act the character they like. Example. And this is what was happening with me <laughs> while I was teaching. English you like also. to act like a girl. Yes. Some boys refused refused to takes a, a role of a girl. Another, another problem in uh, speaking activities that, why, that we might have to overcome is nothing to say. That some students do not have anything to say. Even if they are not inhibited, you often fee hear learners complain that they cannot think of anything to say. They have no motive to express themselves beyond the guilty feeling that they should be speaking. So some students are not talking what they have inside, but they talk because they have to talk. But they just talk anything. But actually, they do not have anything inside. They just because they have to. Uh, another one is low or uneven participation. This is a potential also problem in speaking activities. Only one participant can talk at a time if he or she is to be here. So one just, we have to, one just to talk. And in a large talking time, 
The group lecture is compounded by tendency of some learners to dominate while others speak very little or not at all. So this is our, also our problem of speaking activities. That some students are just want to talk, 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 while others cannot talk anything. Mother tongue use. Some students. <laughs> Okay, mother tongue use in classes where all or a number of the learners share the same mother tongue, they may tend to use it. So they will just talk their mother tongue. They will forget about the foreign language or the target language they are learning. Because why? They use their mother tongue. Because it is easier. Because it feels unnatural to speak to one another in a foreign language. And because they feel less exposed if they are speaking their mother tongue. If they are to talking in small groups, it can be quite difficult to get some classes, particularly the less disciplined or motivated ones to keep on the target language. So, mother tongue use is another problem. I mean, before that, is there uh, any possibility for the teachers to understand the level or condition of the uh, healthy condition of the students? Like, we can see it, but maybe as somebody maybe doesn't have any disabilities about the students. Yes. Okay, maybe not a physical. We do not know uh, because the diagnosis for the autism, dyslexia student are uh, maybe mostly for the dyslexia, maybe a little bit problem in the uh, uh, writings. We are clear cut there. But autism is very subjective. Okay, yes. the recognition of the being an autism is just only for the medical doctor can certify these people, yes. this student. Where I managed to have facing this kind of problem, when in a year three, because in the year one, year two, I already mentioned to the administrator that this kind of a student got a problem, pupil got a problem. But administrator say we can do anything because their parent doesn't want to bring this kind of people to diagnose. Until the year three only recognize he is the one having a problem with autism. So, how we want to deal with this kind of a situation? Either we want to pair with those who are, can help this kind of people. Autism? Yes. Autism. Or with a normal people that can help the autism or what? Yes, I think we can deal with autism. Why to some but the thing is, the reality in Malaysia, those who are parents, they are insult, feeling insulted when sending to the inclusive. Yes. Very insulting because even we want to... Because I think they are especially teachers, <coughs> that's why. Yeah, that's why. Yes. They have uh, their own capability, their teachers are well trained in this kind of the situation. Because a normal teacher doesn't have any expertise to deal with them. We have uh, 40 people in that class, how to deal with them. So you have to persuade them, talk to the parents. So Call in me. case, if this kind of exists, so how? Either we want to pair with the normal people that can help these people? Because autism mostly just only recognize the friend that very close to them. Yes. So how, Tariq, your, your opinion, personal opinion, personal view about that? I want to ask you. <laughs> I think we should send them to some special students. That's all. Yes. Final say. <laughs> because this is an uh, English class. Sorry. <laughs> Choose a problem from the basic previous ones and consider what might you do to overcome it. Just we have some problems. We showed you some problems. Just we, we want some solutions to these problems. Inhibition, nothing to say, a low or even participation, mother tongue use. So can you suggest some, some uh, solutions to overcome it?
think he is dying for two years. <laughs> Hopefully not a good event. What is the problem? The problem of inhibition. Nothing to say. So, when students are afraid, what can we do for them to make them not afraid when they are speaking? For example. They are afraid to speak in front of class. How can we make them more comfortable, comfortable while speaking? To make them, for example, discuss in small. Yes. By, by engaging them in uh, pair work or uh, group work with their colleagues, uh, this is a gradual uh, engagement for them to take part later, later in uh, speaking. Uh, Yes, so what's that you mean? Small group yeah, yeah. discussions. Yes. Games. Can have games. Also yes. games, yes. yes. Games. So when they are excited, they will talk more and yes. more. Thank so you. that we will have to be excited. Yes. Another problem, nothing to say. How can we solve this problem? Us. They have nothing to say. Nothing to say? Yes. To motivate them, to ask them, to try yeah. to involve them. Yes. Yes, thank you. Repeat. So these are some suggestions to overcome this problem. Mm -hmm. Suggestions. Use the group work. Can you tell a big piece the first one? Okay. Or can you please read the first one? Okay. To overcome these problems. Inhibitions mean fears. Who are unwilling to speak in front of it. Thank you. This means what Sam said, just to make them discuss in small groups. They will feel more, more secure, not in front of the whole class. The second one, Abia. Base the activity on easy language. I think this is easy. Just to make them use easy language. In general, the level of language needed for a speaking activity should be lower than that used in intensive language learning activities. So, in speaking activities, because the, this is the language, uh, the second language of those students is not the mother tongue. So, we must make them use the language which is very simple and easy, not complicated. It should be easily recalled and produced by the participants, means students, so that they can speak fluently with the minimum of hesitation. It is a good idea to teach or review essential vocabulary before the activity starts. Make a careful choice of topic and ask to stimulate, to stimulate interest. So we have to be careful uh, when we choose, uh, cho choose the topic for our discussion or speaking activity. On the whole, the teacher, the verbos of the discussion are the more motivated participants will be. Will be. The clearer the verbs of the discussion or the topic means how, how it is interesting it will be. The more it is interesting, the more it will be motivated. Give some students instructions or training in discussion skills. If the task is based on a group discussion, then it includes instructions about participation when introducing it. For example, the learners to make sure that everyone in the group contributes to the discussion. I'll point a chairperson to each to each group who will recreate five key students speaking the target language. So this point and this point, this key, this means that we have to monitor students to make sure that they use the target language all the time, they do not just slip into their original language. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.
our teachers uh, uh, speaking. Uh, now I want to talk about uh, we can actually use a new way to perceive the speaking and the listening. Uh, because I think the movie has so so many uh, uh, advantages and benefits to into our uh, speaking and the listening. Uh, before I uh, back to my presentation, I want to ask uh, all of you a uh, simple question. What do you think the problem of movie? If we want to combine movie into our classroom, what's the problem? You can uh, write back, uh, write to the under back of the paper, then we discuss. And I think it's a very interesting thing. We know the uh, American Hollywood blockbuster is very famous. Every year it can produce so many different uh, genres, uh, uh, movies, and uh, they are English, little, little English uh, movies. So it includes so many authentic. Generally, I think the second things we can learn. But uh, we also know Hollywood blockbuster, uh, they also including so many uh, if we want to use them into our classroom, I think, of course, we need to put in some of the flaws, some of the disappointments. So, I want to ask you to uh, express your opinion. What's the problem? Because currently we know the uh, problem, then we can overcome. We can say how to combine our classroom. So I'll give you two minutes. For one minute, a minute, we can discuss. What's the problem of the movement? What's the problem of the movement? If we want to use them in the our classroom. Yes, of course. Uh, most of the time, mother tongue of the English language, native speakers. Maybe our students are not familiar with the native speakers. But uh, you know, many movies including uh, subtitles. Students can survive the subtitles. Yeah, but they still like, have some problems. Like no, accent and slang is different. Accent? Yes. Accent is different. 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 Uh, I know you are primary. Yeah, 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 of course. Perhaps you are also this English. A little bit, just I one know. or two parts. So, what do you see? Engaging with the uh, movie uh, and movie. The uh, problem. Because when we engage the blockbuster film, especially in my for all those things, okay, or even the uh, Iron Man. They just see that kind of the particular character that just only remain on the character, it's not no, words. It's just or the even the essence. The yes. Plot. They just plot of the story and also the character. It just only remain for the other language matters as jacket. Okay, yes, very uh, very good. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, <coughs> I want to analyze and discuss this problem up here uh, in the, up the slide. Now I just uh, briefly to express uh, the genres of the movies, the accents, uh, adventures, comedies, uh, and some genres. Uh, because uh, we are very, uh, we, uh, our time is very busy. Okay, next. Next, next. next. Uh, and some detective. Detective uh, is my favorite style. And some of them fancy. I think most of the children have to like this kind of style. Okay, next. The character of the... Uh, uh, I just have to like, I want to uh, make all of you to analyze what's the difference of the, uh, between the the movie and the TV series. Uh, I think uh, we can discuss after the class. So this, this is from the internet, some theory. If you are interested, we can see. Uh, okay, next. Uh, next. Uh, I just 
want to focus on these questions because I think it is very interesting. The problem was moving for English teaching. Uh, first, I think just like the, this one is that the students, if they in the classroom they want to move it, that they are easily, uh, they easily see into uh, plot. So they perhaps forgot the, the task of the language. So it's a very important problem. Uh, also, the second is uh, this one. No. This one. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, because uh, uh, a large proportion of Hollywood blockbuster, especially American movies, they include in so many uh, violence and even some little pornography or some uh, abuse, abuse <coughs> language, very rude uh, language. So I think, because this is also a very important factor, perhaps it would affect the teacher to decide it. Uh, use them uh, moving into the classroom. But I think we can have a good idea to overcome it. The third is uh, uh, just because of the, the a movie is very long. At least I think perhaps one hour or perhaps nearly two hours. But our class, the last is uh, I think perhaps the 40 minutes in China is. So I think uh, we also must uh, consider this uh, key point. Uh, the fourth is uh, uh, Hollywood blockbuster dependent American culture. So as we are teachers, we are also uh, educators, we must be very really careful because I think that American culture, perhaps they just can attack our, our nation's culture. I think it's a problem. You see, so you, you, you can imagine can you, can you uh, show the uh, President Obama his priorities in your classroom? <laughs> Cannot, because perhaps he just uh, uh, expressed their values or their following strategies. I think it's not suitable for students to, to study. So must be very careful, because I think a uh, uh, movie in some extent, we in American soft power, the uh, influence of culture. So when we select the movie, the content and the general must be very careful, uh, must be very cautious of the political content, especially political content. OK, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, sorry, because the, the The benefits of the uh, movie for English teaching, I think uh, at first the students' uh, attitudes can be improved because a lot of students can uh, imitate the authentic uh, English. They, they can uh, adjust and improve their pronunciation. Right? So I think it is a, a really good point. And also they can, of course, they can increase their vocabulary. The third is uh, because uh, the movie, movie language, they are feature concise, concise and creative dialogue. Means they can easily understand. They are different to the language from uh, textbooks. And uh, uh, the fourth is the students can understand uh, just uh, perhaps they are can according to the plot, gesture, or gesture, or the visual expression and the body language. So all of the perhaps they didn't understand the vocabulary, but they can, according to the gesture, the official expression, they can understand, they can use their imagination. Uh, then uh, a very important question is how to confine the movie in a maximum for our classroom within uh, 40 minutes. I think uh, 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 a very good idea is we can make some clips. We can, uh, yes, yes, almost finished. We can make some clips. Uh, uh, we can use some technology. Now I have a very useful uh, software. 
everybody can share. I can show you how to use the technology, the software. We just can make three minutes or five minutes uh, clips. Have you ever used this kind of software? Clips? At the, yeah, we can make uh, clips so can from the movie. Yes, yeah, three minutes or five movie, minutes. You, can you just see the, select the most excellent, the excellence of the movie. You can share that with me. Yes, uh, okay. Uh, also, we can uh, select the suitable genres and subject material. Because perhaps students like the 3D animation or some uh, detective or, or some fiction. Okay, next. Actually, I want to explain myself as we want to use the movie uh, into our classroom. I want to see a perfect solution. Uh, because, you know, just like the Miss Father said, we want to students to talk more or talk frequently, but because due to their different level, for example, primary school, or because in China, most of uh, us uh, uh, cannot use English very freely or fluently because our culture, uh, English is not very popular use. Uh, so I think for those students, the first uh, first part of the English teacher, we should give them a warm-up tune. Means uh, let them be familiar with some keywords or give them, uh, give them some background of the movie. Yes, only on two. Okay, uh, this is some words from my students. Uh, uh, we can see uh, 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 the highlight is the color, it's just some keywords. Oh, okay, go back, go back. Uh, uh, I just want to see. Go back. Uh, a comment, comment. Three. Uh, because we know if we want to use the movie into our classroom, we cannot, this is not a game, or this is not entertainment, just for the student to enjoy and finish. Cannot. We must be, for our as an English teacher, we must be, has a very perfect solution. I mean, we, uh, our, uh, strategy are uh, must be very strict. So we must give students assessment of assignment. Then I usually I let the student uh, after they are uh, class they write uh, some ex uh, opinion about the movie. Uh, for example, what kind of film do you like or how often do you like what to film? Uh, how do you like the, this uh, Hollywood blockbuster? When they uh, look up some information or when they collect uh, different uh, resources, then they finish, then they upload, submit it to me. I think it's a very uh, good message because they can interest their, uh, their mem memories. Okay. Uh, Next. Uh, and I usually like to, um, if, if they want to see a movie, they must select a hundred seconds through the uh, use the technology screen saw. Oh, screen saw. Uh, this is the, we just uh, uh, use the technology. Uh, press the pause button, then we can copy it. This is a screen 
thing start because I think the way this uh, because this is a Chinese standard a thousand sub title. Oh, I think it's a very good way. It can learn authentic January uh, second stage. Uh, sorry. Uh, let, me, let me have a three minutes. I show you how to make a clip, make yeah. a clip from the movie. And I want to uh, recommend you, all of you, you can share okay. this my software. Three minutes. Of two okay. minutes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We can take yeah. the, the, the software, the video can teach us in a later time. <laughs> <laughs> because we want this software. We can work on uh, yes, yeah. We will yes. take the structure after the workshop with pen drives. Thank you. Exactly. 